Hey everybody, Metisfaction here. Got my mat. Today's beverage is Coke Zero. Mm. Delicious. Check out this uh, art my son did. He made the state of Arizona and he glued some dirt to it, which normally, you know, it's just dirt, but you know, it's actually pretty cool. He did a little border. Good job, buddy. Today we have an unboxing from the Apex group. And today I carried my Monterey Bay Knives, Slayback XL, and the Microtech, the Memento Mori edition. This thing's pretty sweet. Ooh, glittery, glittery. Yeah, I think I'll use this to open. I don't remember which night this is, so, you know, when I do the Apex boxes, I like to, uh, you know, uh, you know, be surprised. So let's get this going. Here we go. I believe I was the first on the list to get this bad boy. Get that paper. Ooh, it's a concept. Get that out of the way. Here we go. Oh, this is the, uh, oh, what's it called? Egress, that's right, yeah, the concept egress. Look at that. Hey, this is niche designs. Ooh. I, I like niche because he designed my beloved Ahab which uh, you know I guess the community is divided on whether they like it or not but I can tell you one thing they're all wrong because it's amazing Do you have a different logo no it's the same okay kind of different here he has a, his name circling around it and there it's just uh, the letters yeah, that's awesome. But we're not here for that. We're here for this. So the concept egress. Egress? Egress. This says it's S35VN. It's got a nice micarta scales with some steel liners in there. They've been milled out, so, you know, for weight relief, you know. We got a little pocket clip back here. That niche. That's a niche thing, right? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. With the little lanyard post. Same clip, almost. Yeah, a little different. A little different. What I like, though, about niche designs is their screws are, you know, pretty minimalist. You got the pivot and two back here. The pocket clip is not reversible. You know what? For some reason, I just feel like comparing these two. But as you hold it, this doesn't have a thumb ramp. This has a thumb dip. Thumb dip. Which lends itself to be, I don't know, somewhat comfortable. Uh, you know, I'm not as thrilled about that as I kind of was two seconds ago. This part, for me, I have big hands. And hand sizing is everything when it comes to, you know, different hot spots and whatnot. And for me, right here, this, these two little, little spots right here dig into my bone right there. So I feel that. Yeah, that's, that's not comfortable for me. It could be for you. I don't know. Maybe you have to hold it like this, but that's kind of weird. Maybe this is just a pinch grip knife for draw cuts. We got jimping here and here, here. Though so that jimping doesn't really seem to matter. This one does. This is more comfortable, and you can even get dip, get down on it, get down. This grip is a little more comfortable because then your thumb kind of conforms into there. 
I like the idea of a thumb dip, I do. But maybe smooth it out. This kind of comes up too high. This makes you think of like a semi truck. And then right here is the uh, scoop on the roof while the wind goes up, so it goes over the trailer. The handle's also a little too narrow for me. Even on the Ahab, it's thicker. This way, wider, thicker, tighter, whatever you want to call it. I would, I would prefer a thicker handle. But that, you know, again, these are just opinions. This is just me. I like a, a bigger handle. Even the slayback has a bigger handle. But I, I get the point of it. I think it just needs to be oiled, and I'm not sure the rules on oiling. Although I see some in there. I would love to oil it. It's riding that ball pretty pretty stiff though. That ball could probably use a, a little dab of dew. But these are just initial. You know, I just opened the box. I don't really know much about it. This blade is one, two, three, wait, messed up. One, two, three, about three and a half cutting inch, a little less. I like the blade shape. That's a nice worn cliff type deal here. Goes up pretty high. We got a high grind. Is that a hollow or a flat? Kind of looks like a flat grind. A good way to check if you're unsure is to take something flat, like this uh, traditional pocket knife sticker, stick it on the edge or the side of the blade. And if you can see a groove in it, you're looking at a hollow. But if you don't, you're looking at a flat. And this, my friends, is a flat grind. I do not see any space in there, so this is a flat grind. Again, this is Apex, so I'm not really supposed to cut with it. We have to keep it nice. Any damage to it, we could end up paying for it. This could be a prototype, too. I don't know if it's out yet. When I get these Apex knives, I like to go in blind. This jimping here that I said was useless up here, but maybe... Okay, yeah. This is going to be a finger flicker. And, if you're good at it, a front flipper. But I'm not good at it. Also, it's kind of got weird angles. The front, the blade sticks this way, and the scales go that way. So you kind of, you got these different angles that you usually don't see. Like on this momentum, you know. The angles kind of match a little bit. But this, if you front flip, your finger is going to be here. And then it's going to hit right there. And you're going to get knocked off. Maybe it's... Pretend this is your front flipping finger. It's going to go right there. And then it's going to get caught right there. And the blade's going to stop. Let's see. Yeah, you're... you're Okay, I don't think this is a front flipper because of that. Your, your thumb is going to stop right there. Yeah, right there. And you go no further. Blade stops there if you're front flipping. So, if that's supposed to be a front flipper, I'm not seeing how. Unless you get enough force and you drag your thumb over. But then there's not enough there to catch to finish it off. There's just that tiniest little bit. Like the momentum here. The front flipper actually comes out even further. So you can finish it. But the front flipper is always out. The entire motion. Until it's closed. Let me check other... Do I have another front flipper just sitting out here? I don't. Oh, I have this one, the Migaron. 
so the front flipper will stay out the entire time so that your thumb can finish the job. This one stops right there. So I don't I don't know if that's supposed to be a front flipper. This has me perplexed. So this could just be only two opening methods. The thumb flick and the middle finger flick. But this right here is not for me, not comfortable. Maybe if I hold it like that, that's a little bit more comfortable. That's okay. I don't want to immediately trash the knife just opening it. These are just, you know, initial thoughts. I would like to test it out a little bit more. But so far, what I'm seeing is things that just don't work maybe because I don't understand it but just off the top of my head especially this front flipper it's got the jimping it seems like it would be a front flipper because the jimping there does nothing here does here does this doesn't make sense What is kind of cool though is the blade being so much lower than the handle. This could be a good kitchen knife. Get in there, do some cuts. Like this knife. Just just straight across. A lot of knives are like that. Maybe you'll get a choil. But usually the handle is uh, you know, with the blade. And this one the, the blade is much lower than the handles. So this could be a good kitchen knife. But for long-term use, it would probably get pretty uncomfortable. I'm going to do a little research. As of right now, I don't know how much it costs. Um, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling this one. Well, I am feeling it. Maybe that's the problem. I'm feeling it here. I'm feeling it here. And like I said, this could be a prototype. Things might change. This might get smoothed out, which I highly recommend. This would be better if it was nice and smooth. Do I have a knife that does that? No. I thought I did. I thought I had a knife that had a nice... Ooh, nice dip. Any of these have a dip? Nope. Nope. All right, well, this video has gone on long enough. Initial impressions, I'm not feeling it. I, I see the niche influence in there. You know, the scales, pretty similar. These are done right, though. These are comfortable. This and this, these don't work with my hands. The clip is pretty cool. I don't feel that at all. I'm not feeling this possible front flipper. It's right there. If they wanted to make it a front flipper, this should go. Get rid of that right there. That way you can see the blade and you can follow it through. But the blade shape is cool. I think a lot of the problems I have is this area. But that's all I got. What do you think about it if you stuck this far? What do you think? Would you get it? Would you try it? Those of you who are on the Apex list to get this next, what are your possible thoughts before handling it? Let me know. But so far, I'm not feeling it. That's just me. So on a scale of 1 to 10, between I have to have it and you couldn't pay me to take it, I'd probably put this at a 3. Whereas this would be like a 7. This is a 10. I freaking love that knife. So that's just to give you an idea of where I would put it.
But let me know. What do you guys think? But, you know, for those of you that stuck through this far, thank you. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I'll catch you next time.